Hi everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. Also welcome to sit and knit for a bit and welcome to <laughs> December 6th which is 2nd of Advent. So sit and knit for a bit, 2nd Advent special. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and uh, we are here dogme style yeah. since there's a pandemic and Eric and Anna and PJ couldn't come to film. Uh, so but I think we can do well. We can do it. Are you excited about this episode? Tell me. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous actually because I have a feeling that... You have a feeling it's a cooking episode, right? Yeah, I know it's a cooking episode, but I have a feeling that uh, you want me to do a lot of stuff. Well, and we'll see. I'm not a cook. I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. Uh, but before we start, I think we should light the second uh, yeah. or both. And we have to tell that straight after this, we will reveal a new Christmas ball. Yes, that's true. Uh, okay, can you tell that while I find a match that is not burned? Yeah, so oh, when is. this is over, we go straight into the Christmas ball of the day. Yes. So we will move into another room, put it exactly. on the fireplace and tell a story about the ball. Yeah, so today you guys are getting a double treat of Arne and Carlos because... I saw a comment, there was a woman who said the, the, the Christmas ball episode was a little bit too short. Well, not today. But not today. And you know what my great grandmother said? No. You should be careful with what you wish yeah, for. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you get more than you want. Yeah, be careful what you <laughs> wish for because you're going to get more than enough. You're going to get so tired. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Today's episode uh, is the Sit and Knit for a Bit Advent special. Uh, second of Advent today, right? And then when this is over, we will drop the second video. So two videos today, which is our regular daily Christmas countdown. Yeah. So you do have a double treat. Now before we start, Arna, I think we need some security measures in place. Okay. Here you go. Is this security? Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so that we don't get flour all over us. I think ourselves. this is just because we're, we're filming it. I've never seen you use aprons when you... No, no. But I found these aprons in the cabinet and, you know, they really did bring a lot of memories. Yeah, remember, we got them in... was it in Bali? Yeah, we were at a resort in Bali and we decided to take a cooking class, which uh, actually went pretty well. Do you remember anything from that class? No. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Not much. Apparently, it went really well. <laughs> I remember <laughs> and it was we probably... had food outside. Yeah, and I'm sure you were in, in a corner there knitting while the, the chef was... Uh... No, I was watching. I was listening. I was very polite and I did as I was told. Oh, yeah, well. It was a great time though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. Okay, so we have a, a little um, cooking episode for you, dogme style. Uh, we're going to do it the same way as we did the Advent special last week. One of us is going to do the cooking, one of us is going to do the filming. I knew that was coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay. You were so, like, when I asked you about the ingredients yesterday in the shop, you were, like, so mysterious about everything. But, so there's a lot of stuff. Well, I'm not going to say it's payback time, because I feel Arne was such a fantastic instructor. <laughs> and what I'm, what I'm worried about is that I'm not going to be able to be as good teaching you as you were teaching me. But I'm going to do my very best, okay? Yeah. Now, the reason why we're doing this particular cooking episode is because you have been nagging at me for I don't know how many years to make you many. these. Yeah. And why have you been doing that? Because I have these two former like shapes shapes that you you press the gingerbread out. Mm -hmm. Then you say gingerbread? Well I didn't but now you did. I Surprise. We're making gingerbread. Surprise! <laughs> I think everybody knew when I yeah. saw it. So this is a horse and this is a moose. I think one of them are from Vermont and one is from one of the National Trust houses in England. Okay, very cute. I did, I, I did buy a set of different things, but I took out the moose from one package and the horse from the other one. Yeah, and, um, yeah. and Arne kept nagging at me for years. He said, we need to make gingerbread, Carlos. We need to make gingerbread so I can try out my little figures. And what he meant with we was <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so fun. And so we decided, yes, let's do the gingerbread for the second of Advent special. Yeah. Uh, the surprise and the twist is that I'm going to film mm -hmm. and you're going to make it. Uh -huh. I, yeah. I'm actually a good cook. <laughs> okay. I, I can do one thing. I can do those uh, rosettes. Yes, We have can. that on yeah. the video. You can, you're right. I'm good at cooking. 
We'll see. Maybe I surprise you. Maybe you'll surprise me. Okay. I got uh, my family. Oh, sorry. There's a book here, and in, in this book, uh, we've got a family recipe for gingerbread. I don't know okay. whose family recipe it is, but I don't want to see it. You have to tell me. It's a family recipe. Um, yeah, and I've got it here, so I'm just gonna put that here to just check. And Arne, since we went shopping yesterday, do you want to disclose the ingredients yeah. we need? So we need this. Melis, that is uh, in English. Uh, powder sugar. Powder sugar. Powder. In powder. Powder. I don't know. Once you send me a like a shopping list, <laughs> and I don't, I, I, it was. I don't know why, but you send some of some of this in English, and and you ask for flour. Now what's the mirror? Flour. Flour, and I bought powder sugar. Powder sugar, because <laughs> I, I think flour. Flour. This sounds more like this. Yeah, but, but, but no, no, no. Powdered so, sugar. Pa powdered sugar. What, what else do you need? This is a lemon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's put, a, <laughs> put it there. Yeah, okay. Lemon. And, and then we have... Um, well, this is for the decoration. Yeah. This is like you put some the the flower sugar in and you press it. I know that. And then yeah. you decorate. And then you make decorations. Yeah. This is cool. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is something I pick because you yeah. also have something nice for decoration. They didn't have anything in red, but it's... No, but Arne saw, Arne saw the pink and it just screamed it's, at him, buy me, buy me. Yeah, it's pink, green and silver. Mm -hmm. We probably want to eat this later. Just yeah. as it is. But don't eat it before you decorate. This is... Um, not room. Yes. That's dangerous. Isn't that things that explode in can if like if you use Not room is used for baking, it's bicarbonate, bicarbonate. I thought I that's something you used in the chemistry yeah, cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well baking is chemistry. Okay. Okay. Butter. Real butter. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? Canel. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's ground, right? Gra mere malt. Gra yeah. Okay. Eggs. Then you need some black pepper, malt, ground, ground, ingefire, ground, ginger, ginger, nelik, ground, cloves, cloves. And this is not for the beak of the bird. Okay, so not because it's it's ground. It's so ground. It's not the little nails of cloves. Sugar. Okay. And this is the best thing. This is your. Flower. Yeah. It's not flowers like in the garden. No, flower. Flower. But I like the design of the package. Yes, of course you do. I think th this is so, so nice. Like okay, you can also have them in, in a box, but we, go, I, go, I prefer. Go show it. everybody the design since Look you love it this. so much. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah. So I keep the paper when these are empty and then I glue it in my book or mm -hmm. I make pages. Very this nice. It's so beautiful. Is there anything else in your tote? Yeah, there's like this. Syrup. Syrup? Well, no. actually, actually, this is a Scandinavian thing. It's called syrup, but syrup. it's not It's not maple syrup. I have been Googling and trying to find the equivalent. And on a, the equivalent is uh, something called molasses. Yeah, mol yeah. Mm -hmm. molasses. It's more, that's what, like, I remember my father told me during the Second World War, they gave that to the cows. They molasses? Mix, mix it in melos. Okay, so they have a sweet something. Maybe that was another one. Maybe that was another melos. Maybe okay. not this one. So okay. is your is your Ronin Carlos Christmas tote empty? Empty. So perhaps you'd like to show everybody in case you want to support our channel, our lovely merchandise. We are, have a lot of merchandise now. This is the Christmas tote bag. And we've got the uh, mugs as well. If you want to support our channel, go get yourself some merch. Uh, there's also sweatshirts and t-shirts and everything uh, you may need uh, with a festive motif designed by Arne and me. Yeah. And uh, if you get it by tomorrow, it will still arrive for Christmas. So uh, go get your merch. Yeah. So what do we do now? Okay, so uh, I think <laughs> that I'm going to start reading. I'm going to start reading the pattern of oh. the recipe and I'm going to go grab the camera. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you here. And okay. I'm going to be telling you what to do, yeah. just as you told me how to do the Christmas stuff. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see how it works, oh, okay? Oh, this can be bad. So let me just move. No, this is going to be so good.
this is going to be. So, so I'm going to move a little bit of the candles around so yeah. you can see what so I'm that, doing. So that you don't burn yourself. Okay. Okay, Arne. So, what you are going to do now... I need something to mix it in. Yeah, you do. Uh, but actually, you don't need that right now. Okay. Right okay. now, what you need is uh, you need to use the stove and you need to bring up a nice, lovely pan. The stove? Yeah, because you're going to mix butter, syrup and sugar in a pan and you're going to heat it up until the sugar is melted. Yeah. Maybe you have to do that in Norwegian as well. Is it no? Is, do I have to use a big one? No, I would say that's too small. This? Yeah. The heart shape is a little bit bigger. Why don't you try that one? But could we do like a double per portion so I could do houses like castles? Uh, okay. A Christmas. Okay, I don't know if we have enough in in ingredients for a double portion, but why don't you do two reindeer and then you can do a castle as well. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna need, Arne, you're gonna need 300, 300 grams of sugar. <sighs> Gram, then I use the scale. Yes. You use the scale. And I learned something like if I, ha if I use a plastic ball on top, and, and I put that on top and then I press the zero. Then I can add things. Mm -hmm. I did that with yarn. Yep, of course. That's, that's why we got the scale until I stole it from you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Is it big enough? Mm, for 300 grams, I think so. Okay, so I put on this 300 grams. First I have to, it has to show zero. Yeah. Yep. Zero. No, it doesn't have. No, this is ninety. Now it has to show zero. So I press it again. Now it's zero. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Are you sure you're gonna just blow it up and uh, blow it in it and just? Now it's zero. Okay. What do I do? But what you do blew I... in the. Yeah, do because you... there was something in there. Yeah. So you don't want to rinse it with a little water? I mean. No, do I have to? It's going to be in the oven. It will okay. kill everything. Okay, fine. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so... And we're not giving this to other people. This is for us. Okay, so 300 grams of sugar. Are yeah. you afraid now? No, I'm fine. Sugar. Yes. No, that's not sugar. That's sugar. Okay. I think this package is also quite nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To keep it. And then I just pour sugar. Yeah. And you're looking for 300. How much is it in this one? I don't know, maybe 500? I don't know. Oh, 260, 310. So pour a little bit back in. Is that necessary? I think baking, baking is supposed to be very precise. So yeah, I think you need to do that. You really think so? Yeah, let's be a little pedantic today. I don't think that makes a big difference. 200 and 294, 98, 300. Okay, so that goes in the bowl. Are you laughing? No. <laughs> yes. Oh, now it's 302. No, 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 okay, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. 302 grams is... Are we finished with the sugar now? Uh, but leave it there anyway. You never know if you're going to need it again. Okay, so you put that in your pan. Oh, in this one? Yeah. And now you need 300 grams of butter. How did I do that? So the butter, you can cut it with a knife. Oh, and, and the butter is there pretty... Are marks. Yes, the butter, the marks are 50 grams each. No, there's a hundred. Oh, okay. You said three hundred? You need three hundred. So I need all the way up to there. Yeah. That's easy. So all you need to do is uh, mark and cut. One, two. So, so. So it's around there. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of butter. Yeah, oh yeah. I think we're going to get a lot of gingerbread. This is... Oh. 
I washed my hands. Yeah, I know you did. I saw that. And okay. I have to taste a little. We don't need more later. No, 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 don't do that. I just want to taste it. Okay. It's so good. Whatever. Oh, butter is so good. Arne, <laughs> come on. Okay, and you need and you need to add the syrup as well. But what I would recommend, if I were you, I you, you, I should put it on the stove now. And what I recommend is you take your knife and you cut the butter in smaller slices. If you slice it up a little bit, so that I can't put it on the oven now, can I? On the stove, not the oven. The stove. Oh, this is not possible. Oh. Well, I need a fork. <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna eat the butter or what are you gonna do? I have to yeah. make pieces. Is this really necessary? Yes. Is it because it mel melts quicker or Yeah, I I mean I always do that. I think it melts quicker. Um <laughs> I've never gonna... done this gingerbread before. I don't think we did that at home. No. No, never. It's funny because I was reading a newspaper article about gingerbread. Mm -hmm. And uh, they say that gingerbread is the most popular Christmas cookie in Norway. Yeah. And I guess we bought them sometimes, but uh, I don't know why. We never had it. And you, know the, and you know something interesting? I mean, gingerbread in English, because there's ginger in the cookie, yeah. right? But in Norwegian, we call it pepperkake, or yeah. in Swedish also pepparkakor. Yeah. And it actually means pepper cakes. Yeah. So in our language, uh, we emphasize the pepper, not the ginger. Yeah. Okay, so put that on the stove. And uh, I read somewhere that uh, gingerbread makes you glad and happy. Happy and oh, sorry. Can you say that again? Gingerbread makes you happy and glad, or. Happy and glad, huh? Is nice. that the same? No. <laughs> yeah, it's a little dogma. I kind of hit the... I was filming the lamp. I wasn't supposed to film that, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put the lamp away or can you see what I, I'm... I can see everything. What, I, what do I do now? You put the heat on, but no, don't... Not, not the booster. No. This, this is the booster. Yeah, but don't boost it. I can't... But now I will burn the... No, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. Turn the heat off of both. Of both? Yeah. And. No, that's not. That's the timer. Okay, and now turn it on, and only put on one of the burners. No, yeah, no. But not nine. But that's that's too much. Should I start like on lower? Start on seven, but I think you should move the pan to the top because that's the wrong. No, that's the right one. You're right. Okay. No, this is the booster. Okay, and then if I were you, I'd take that butter and I put the butter in the bottom, and move the sugar up a little. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> you can't do that. Then I should start with the butter instead of the. It's okay. Yeah, and tell me what why what am I doing? Why am I doing this? You're gonna heat it up. It's just gonna heat up. Okay, so but we're missing the syrup. But I can't do. No, no, no. But go go back and get the syrup. How much do you need? Do I put that also in this one? You need three deciliters. Hello, dogma. <laughs> <laughs> you need three deciliters of syrup. This is hard for you. It's okay. Deciliter. Yes. This one takes uh, two, and two and a half. But let's come over to the. Let's come over here. This is two and. But this is five hundred gram. Yeah, but now it's. But look at the size. Yeah, but it. Says 300, or sorry, three deciliters. Oops. But this is so sticky. I've, I've, but how can this be 300 grams? No, Maybe. not 300 grams on it. Now we're doing deciliters. We're no, not the three deciliters. This is this is two and a half. But it said 500. Gram? Yeah, How but many deciliters a gram? It's different because you're either doing liquid measurements or by weight. I think this is what we need actually. Okay, so put it in. But look, listen, I need. Uh, this is almost what I'm missing. I take everything. Yeah, 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 put it all in. This is going very well. <laughs> it doesn't move. <laughs> Oh my god. Now, now, now I can hear something down here. 
Yeah, but be careful because you've got that sugar on the bottom. I know. I'm, I'm trying to do everything. But now I was like, now I I'm messed up everything. No, no, no. You haven't messed up anything. You're doing really well. But why do, do they don't tell you how many gram there are in the box? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're asking, the, the recipe is asking for th three deciliters and the box says 500 grams. I know it sounds weird, but that's but cooking. By eyeballing it. I like that word, eyeballing. Mm -hmm. It looks like three deciliters. Yeah, so let's say it's three deciliters. Oh. Oh, sorry. I keep filming that lamp. Which lamp? This one. Take it away. It's kind of like in the way. Okay, that's better. But now everything, now, now I made everything sticky and dirty. It's not dirty, it's just sticky. Oh, now it's melting. Good. Met. So you should go down in heat. <laughs> there you go. I have to. I have to take this out. Why did I put it in there? I don't know. More fun for us, maybe. You know the rosettes are much easier because then you just mix it and you use like a spoon and a cup and that's it and then you okay. fry it. Let me see your face. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm nervous. I think you're doing really I think, well. I decided this is three deciliter now. Yep. Is this and, good? Yeah, and as long as you don't burn, as long as you don't burn this. Um, but you know what? I love my enamel cast iron uh, quite a lot. So oh, okay. Could so I, I recommend? Should, yeah. This one. A wooden spoon would be lovely. Thank you. Can you see now how much? Oh, the, the sugar has been. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> With sugar. Okay. Don't worry about it. I think you should be more concerned. I with, can eat this later. Yeah, you should be more concerned with stirring. This can't. Is this the way you do it? Yeah. And could you maybe lower the uh, the heat? There you go. Much better. But so, what am I doing now? It's like I have to boil it, or no, do I just melt it? No, no, no. It's melting. You're melting it. This looks dangerous. No, 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 no. It's fine. I don't think this is enough for a house. Don't worry. I mean, there's. Don't worry. There's gonna be flour. There's gonna be all sorts of things. So, th what's the next step? First, everything should be melted, and then. Yeah, you're supposed to stir it a little bit so that it melts. I'm doing uh, that. But it looks good right now. So I, I would. I would. I, so you no, know what? no boiling. Just. Stirring. Yeah. Just t put up the heat. You can put up the heat again to number five. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go get your spices because the spice. Um, can I leave this? Yeah, well, I'm here. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm taking care of whatever. I'll take this with me. No, you don't need that with you. Oh, okay. You do. Mm. So go get your spices. And you're gonna put in the spices now. I stuck to the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Arnett. Arnett, we do need to move on a little bit here because of the fire. So, um, this. And not, and not what the, you gonna mix it up there? Yeah, but not the whole thing. So what do you need? Teaspoons. Let's see. Okay, so you need half a teaspoon of uh, the ground clove. That's this one. Well, that's a that's a very large steep teaspoon. But okay, we like it spicy, don't we? This is a teaspoon. Yeah. Well, we, it, it's supposed to be like a measure. No. But we don't have it. When I, when I grew up, I remember everybody, my, the women, they always use spoon. If they said teaspoon, it was this one. If it was a spoon, it was this okay. one. Okay, no, 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 the, the teaspoon. Or you can use this one, three times. <laughs> no, this one you never use, but you use this yeah, one. That's a serving this spoon. One. So okay. we're, talking, we're talking teaspoons. Yes, so do, um, do half, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. No, sorry, of uh, clove. That's Kanel. No, it's Kanel cinnamon, clove, Nelik. Nelik. Yes, that one. Half a teaspoon? Yep. I put it just in there now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it stay like in cr crumpy? Or no, 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 it's not going to lump. Just, just put it in, put in half, half a teaspoon and then you want to stir a little bit in your, um, in your pot. For me... No, that's not a half, that's a teaspoon. No, this is... Uh... Let's see. That's a good half teaspoon. Okay, if you say so. 
Yep. I say so. Uh, now you need to put in two teaspoons of ginger, of the ground ginger. That's the ingefer? Yes. Ginger. How, how much? Two teaspoons. And is it like a topped teaspoon? No, just a... a flat. <laughs> It's a teaspoon. No, there are two. There are different teaspoons. It could, it could be a topped teaspoon or a flat teaspoon. It's, let's say a flat. It should say in the pattern. No, it doesn't say. But oh, in the recipe, we'll say it's a flat one. It should be a flat one. This is strong. Yeah, you know, so far so good. I think you haven't burned the house That's down yet. A flat one. Okay. Two. Do one for the camera so we can see. You said two. Yeah. Ah, I get what you mean now. That's but, a flat one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Put that in. No, I have to mix it. Mm -hmm. well, I feel I have to mix things now. Well, you still need two, two, two teaspoons each of the black pepper. I have to mix this first. Yeah. But it's going well, it's going well. Don't okay. worry, don't worry about you it. You said how much black pepper? Two, two teaspoons of black pepper and two of the cinnamon. So two of the rest. Yeah. And, and uh, remember to breathe. It's good to take a little breath, so don't One, stress. Two. Okay, wow, that was that was really big teaspoons of pepper. Aren't it's it? called pepper cakes. It is, yes. You said teaspoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mm. Looks like uh, porridge, the Christmas porridge. Yeah, yummy. How are we on porridge gate? Well, I haven't had that for a while. <laughs> what are you filming? Are you filming me now? Yeah, I'm looking at the, at the recipe <laughs> and filming you and having a lot of fun. Now I have to wash my hands. You can take a close-up of the beautiful... Don't touch it! I'm, I'm not touching it. I just want to... I just want to see the situation here um, and see how it's going. Okay, you can actually, mmm, it actually smells gingerbread already. Can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah. Arne, what are you doing? I feel good. I remember we had that, this like very, very hard one when, when we were younger. You could also have them in like in small... Oh, you mean the spoon? The um, malt. Oh yeah, the molasses, the mm. syrup. So Sofra is, is barking at the moose. Obviously, she's barking with anticipation. She thinks she might get a moose. For it's not uh, as good as the one we had when I was a kid. No, no, it's a very sweet thing, huh? Too sweet, also, but this is this tastes different. Let's see the color now. Oh, that is a beautiful brown color. So and uh, oh, the smell is. Oh, it, it it really smells like gingerbread now. This is really Christmassy. Oh yeah, this smells like mm, delicious. So what do I do now? Okay, so I have to. All the butter has to be. Okay, it's pretty hot or warm. You should so... stay away from the cooking, Carlos. No, no, I'm okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother you. Are you, you afraid? No, <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> I trust you. Just you know what? I trust you with my with cooking just as much as you trusted me with a drill last week. Yeah, you shouldn't because I almost burned the kitchen down. You remember? Yeah, but we do have a fire extinguisher. It's standing right behind me. Oh yeah. So we're good. I'm very good. And you were really good last week when you were so concerned for my safety yeah. and telling me to mind my fingers all the time. I'll be doing the same if I see something dangerous. I have to remove some of this because when I like to have a clean kitchen when I'm cooking. Yeah, right. How often do you cook? <laughs> Not so very often, but I like to have it very tidy around me and organized. So now we're not using this anymore. Uh, we may need the deciliter thingy, but yeah, put it in the sink for now. It's okay. And okay, garbage. Oh, and Helmer's come to say hello. Be careful. Oh, I have to wash my hands. Okay, Arne. So I, if I were you, I would go over and check how is the situation. It's all melted and it's starting to bubble. So I would take it out now. Okay. Take take it out of the of the heat. Turn the thing off. I didn't burn anything, I think. Yeah, and now I would put that... If I were you... Well, uh, this we have to wash and put in the recycle bin. Yeah, but not right now. 
So what I would do now is I would take your mixture and be very careful with the with the with the um, pan because it's very hot. It's cast iron. Oh, don't don't do that. Take take the take the oven mitts for that. Yeah, you don't want to burn your fingers. Now take that and pour it over into your beautiful brown bowl that Can you I have take to. Can I this away? No, no, no. Take everything to the table. Take it to the table. You're, you're going to use that spoon anyway. It smells so good. It does, yeah. And now you pour your mixture into your beautiful brown bowl that you've been excited about. It doesn't about. break? No, no. Pour it, pour it in. You'll be okay. You're doing really well. Oh, look. That's like sugar. Sugar lumps? <laughs> well, they were supposed to melt. <laughs> Okay, maybe you should try stirring a little bit in there so that those sugar lumps melt. Maybe you have to take them out. No. They will melt when they... later. You think I have to take them out? Yeah, I would just uh, throw them out the sink or something. It's like crystallized, hasn't it? Yeah, but you can't... It's that, not... That's probably good. Yeah, but... <laughs> take it... <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to eat anything uh, by the end of the by the end of this. But now there's less sugar in the thing. Well, that's better for me. I don't like too much sugar. Okay, just take that out. This is sad. This is like sweets. That's like throwing sweets away. Okay, I think this is fine. Yeah. So just stir it a little bit. I move it over here, so I'm closer to the scale. Okay, and what do I do now? I'm sorry. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I don't know if I think this is funny. Oh, come on, you're doing a great job. Just, you know, you're doing just as but good I a job. I kind of not understand what I'm doing, and that is frustrating. No, but you're doing just as good a job this week as I was last week. What's next? What do I do next? Okay, so... The, pa the recipe calls for eggs. Eggs? Yes. Eggs? Yeah, you're gonna add eggs to the mixture. You are gonna add... Oh, yeah, there's more of this. Yeah, just take it out. There's so much of it. Can I squeeze it? Like, maybe I can just... If I do this... But what happened? How how did that happen? I wasn't doing this, staring. Oh, and, and the sugar crystallized? Yeah. But how much is there of that? A little more. Oh, Arne, <laughs> don't eat all of that. Oh, that is, that's not good caramel. Yeah, but it's not good for you. Mm. Yeah, but you're supposed to cook, not eat the dough. You know, I think I'll just leave those things okay. there. Okay. Eggs. How many eggs? Um, let's see. You need two eggs. From loose chickens. Yeah, from two eggs from loose chicken. All of it? Like, no. Yeah, but don't do... You're not going to kill the egg. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, well. You could just hit it against the bowl instead. But you do it as you like. You're doing really well anyway. I'm very proud of you so far. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go into the um, bokashi. Yeah. We do composting here in this house, so absolutely. So I do this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. We've got two Those eggs are in small. there. Are you sure this is enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more than okay. enough. So just stir that in. Maybe I should have that... Uh, the pisk thing? No, 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 no. The spoon's enough. But there's still. I have to kill. Okay. Are so you sure this is okay? Yeah. What's that floating? That's the egg yolk. And just now? Keep, keep, yeah, just stir it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, while you stir, let's uh, let's talk a little bit. How's everything going? How do you th how do you feel here in uh, Christmas HQ? I feel like I'm. I feel like Julia Childs. You do. Uh, how how does she spoke again? She's like 
I think I have to store the eggs. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah we saw the movie. It was funny. It was, yes. She lived in Norway. Yeah, she had. She lived here for a few for years. For a few years. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is going really well. So. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what kind so of. Why don't I use that other one? Because I feel that th th this is not. It's okay because happening. well because you're not actually stirring it to mix it together because it's already mixed. You're just stirring it a little bit so that we can uh, have a little chat. It's but more fun for me. This is really, it's, it's really not happening to me. No, no, but you're just stirring it and, and it's gonna it's just gonna cool down a little bit before we continue. And uh, yeah, um, in the meantime, people have been enjoying our um, our calendar a lot. You know, mm -hmm. lots of people coming in, popping in every day. And lots of people are posting uh, for the competition that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling everybody about the contest? <laughs> Were you filming now? The corner of the room? Or... No, I'm, I'm, this is dogma. I'm filming you. <laughs> the competition? Yeah, you have to post a picture of uh, the, a ball or many balls from the calendar, and then you will be part of the competition where we will pick two winners who will get a tote bag with a picture of us and Freya. And there's a lot of. Things, goodies goodies in the tote bag for example like, yeah there are knitting needles from prune and there are a book make your own idea book yeah. from us and what do you need to do to be you eligible have to post the picture and you have to post it on instagram with the hashtag arna carlos or sit and knit for a bit actually both hashtags right both is good that's helpful yeah and we've already seen there's a lot of pictures out there so mm -hmm. it will be a hard job to yeah. pick two winners. Absolutely. And we're not going to be telling you much about the Christmas traditions in this particular video. No, we don't have time for it. No, number one, Arne is really busy cooking. And number Should two... Should I wear a hat or something? A, cook a chef's hat? Maybe there's a hair in the... In the <laughs> I don't think so. I could have a knitted hat. Yeah, it's okay. okay. You, go, you look great. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is we're not t telling uh, you anything about traditions uh, today in this Advent special. Because this is a cooking show, obviously. And uh, we tell you all the traditions daily on our calendar. Lots of questions have been popping up. People ask you about the decor, about things they see in the calendar. And we promise you that by December 23 or 24, we will have spoken you know about every single item in, uh, in the videos. Keep so your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. And you need to pop in and have a look every single day. I think that's the, um, the message we want to convey How today. How long do I have to do this? Um, let's feel the ball and see what's going on here. It's warm. It's a little bit warm, yeah. And it should cool out off a little bit. So why don't we just um, take a break yeah. and uh, let it cool off. And then once it's cooled, we will come back and do... Uh, so I'll just stir it and you can put the camera on a little break. Yeah, I'm going to do yeah. that now. Back so in a minute. Back in a minute. Because cooking is cheating. You know, you know those cooking shows where they, where they, yeah. they're desperately <laughs> cooking, and then suddenly they bring the cake. And then they're like, and then we have cheated, and then they just take yeah. out a new bowl, and this now, is how it should. Be. Now, question: Have we done that? No. No, no cheating here. No cheating. Yeah. So I just do this for a while. Yeah. See you. So, Arne, what's the situation right now? It's getting cooler. Good. We're back. Yeah, and thank you for cleaning up the mess. Well, you did it. <laughs> you cleaned up the mess, didn't you? Well, I helped you a little bit. <laughs> helped me. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Are you? Um, how are you feeling? Have you? Uh, are, have you been able to relax a little bit now? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm a little bit like worried because I made those sugar flakes. I don't know what the I. The crystals, did well. sugar crystals. The crystals. Yeah, but it's okay. It looks good. But if it doesn't work out, we can make a new dough later. Well, that's the beauty of it. Uh, practice makes perfect. If we fail with our first dough, we just make a new one. And I can tell you that before I was a good cook, I was a bad cook. Okay, that's good. Okay, and you know that I'm a lousy baker. I'm the worst baker in the world. No, you're so. not. I'm not a good baker. No, no, no. Does it have to be cold? Cold? Or no, it's it, it, it's cooled down enough. A little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's cooled down enough that you can put in the natrium, the bicarbonate or bicarbonate. The dangerous stuff. It's not dangerous. That's this one. Yep. Yeah. So um, you just put four teaspoons of that in. Let me just double check. I don't want to 
I don't want to say something cray cray here. Um, yeah, four teaspoons of that. Now I would I would be very stingy on, with that. Okay, so I wouldn't take not topped. I wouldn't take like massive teaspoons. I would take very I, you know less is more here. So if you're doing four teaspoons, you do this like stroking. I would do them may, maybe even less than that. Right, like like something. Yeah, like that. I would do even a little bit less than that. Yeah, that's four. that's what I do. Yeah, four. One. Two, three. Perfecto. And now, finally, the last ingredient. I have to mix it first. Sure, go ahead. Very pretty. It is a very sweet dough, huh? It's dangerous. Dangerously sweet, does that what mean? What if you forget this? Does it get stuck to the... No, 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 you should be okay now. Okay, so the next step is to add in the flour. And once you add in the flour, I don't think you're going to have to worry more about all the um, all the gooiness and the stickiness. Is that the last thing? Or Sorry. So I need the bigger one. Yeah, you need, and it actually says approximately, approximately 900 grams of flour. So you're not... 900 grams. approximately and I oh sorry and I think the pack is a kilo right this is almost everything is it a kilo one kilo okay so try try and do uh, try and do eight, 900 grams and see how that goes do we have more of this because we need something for baking maybe well yeah but you're gonna see if you use 900 grams you have 100 grams left and those 900 grams you can use to uh, you said 900 900 grams I'm gonna pop in now in camera to see how you're doing um, I'm very curious about your little um, yeah let's see that's really good. 866 870 just put a little bit more I think that's not oh, 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 890 there you go. 892. There's not much left. You said 900. Yeah, there you go. That's 900, 912 now. But it said approximately, so... Yeah, do I put it through, through that thing? Yeah, this is good, looking really good, mm -hmm. look. Yeah, but I put, do I put the, the fl flavor... What do you call it? Flour. Flour through... Through a sifter? Sift or... If you want to, you can do that. Do I have to do that? So the, the, let's see what the what this old family recipe says. But this is sifted. It said sifted. Yes. Right? Oh yes. It says, but it says ha i natrum o sikt in mel. Ah, then have to. Do so it. it does ask you to put it through a sifter to do that. Where, so you do that. I don't know. There it is. Okay. So sikt. Mm -hmm. That's the word of the day. Yeah. Sikt. Sikt. Ugh. Very I did good. this when I was a kid. Sometimes yeah. I help my mother doing this. I don't understand why you're nervous about this. You're doing really great, Arne. Thank you. I think that we're gonna get a master baker here and then i'm gonna be asking for baked goods every morning is that what you're afraid of i can do like uh, croissants, croissants <laughs> okay, so, pan chocolate. okay so with your experience you do everything so, right now. so with your experience in cooking and baking you're saying you're going from gingerbread straight to croissant i can do that you know what i did when i was young i followed the recipe in the book i made the napoleon's cake Okay. What's that in English? I don't know. Napoleon's cake. It's all that butter dough, and then it's got the cream. Yeah, and then I, in between. I made the butter dough. I followed the recipe, and then it said put cream between the layers. Yeah. Did you do that? So I was filling the like this for him. Yeah. The. What's that in the English? pan? The pan with the layers of the dough, and then I put cream in between the layers because mm -hmm. it said put cream in between the layers. Yes. So I put cream in between the layers, and then I put it in the oven. Mm. So I baked everything with the cream. <laughs> so when it came out, it was. <laughs> Sorry. Where did that come from? Look. 
Was that in the flower? I don't know. You didn't look at it before <laughs> you started pouring the flour? It's probably breadcrumbs or something, don't worry. Mouse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, please. You have to add some flavor. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like that. Okay, so we've been talking a little bit and... Uh, <laughs> you're awful. <laughs> Okay, okay, we've been talking a little bit and I forgot to mention that you should actually stick it in and then stir it a little bit as you go. So it's, I was too quick now. Yeah, you put everything in, but I'm sure we'll be okay. I guess I just have to work more on it maybe. Yeah. So you are the master mouse catcher in this house. Are there any mouse here right now? Do we have to throw away the dough and start again? <laughs> no, actually there's not. No? No, nothing. And they say this year is like a mouse year, because like I heard, I heard like there's like the shops are buying mouse traps more than ever because there's there has been so many mice this year, mm -hmm. and we haven't hardly seen anyone. Okay. And I, you know why? Why? Because we had that snake in the garden last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hugo. Hugo. The snake. And we had the other one, the the, the really aggressive one. Yeah. Those are poisonous. Yeah, but the first one, Hugo, he was so nice. I really liked him. Mm. Yeah, I know you bonded with him, didn't I you? I bonded with him. He became like so tame after a while and I had like chats with him in the morning. And when I finally get him into that bucket and put him in the beetle and drove down to another place with him, I let him out and I've been looking for him. Mm. When I walked with Freya, I was looking for him. Okay, so, now are they This looks really nice now. Is this a dough? Yeah, but now you're gonna be using your muscles, okay? Uh, not yet. No, your muscles, because you're gonna be you're gonna be moving it around and, and stirring it until Not it... with my hands. No no no, with a spoon, you're just gonna make it into a nice and That's even what I'm doing. Yeah. A nice and even dough. And then and the family recipe says that uh, the dough at the moment is still gonna be very Wet. This recipe is for your family, for yeah. your family, because we never did this at home. Okay, anyway, Arne, listen to me now. The dough that you're working is going to be nice and even, but it's going to be a wet dough. And once it gets cold, yeah. so it's going to be cold, you know, cool down, we could put it in the fridge, but the fridge is, is full, so we can put it outside. Put it outside. But it's going to cool and it's going to get cold. And when it gets cold, it's going to get harder and it's going to be like play dough. Is this the way? <laughs> I don't know, are you having like a, a, a workout of some sort? Let me see your face. Hello. What is it? Yeah, this looks great. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. So keep working that dough. Keep working that I dough. Put it on my hip to get it around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much do I have to do of this? Until it's nice and even. Oh. <laughs> well, now you know how I felt last week when I was doing the star. A lot of work. I know. It's a lot of work. So, um, we're calling these specials Sit and Knit for a Bit. Um, and as you all know, we launched the Sit and Knit for a Bit podcast. Well, if those of you who have been following us for a long time, you will know that we launched the podcast this year because of the pandemic, right? And it's been going on every Wednesday where we just sit and talk and <laughs> and we're calling these Oh, this is like glue. It's, it's perfect. And, and we're calling these Advent uh, podcasts Sit and Knit for a Bit. And if you're new or if you've never been here before and, and if you thought it was a knitting podcast and if you feel misled, the, the whole point with sit and knit for a bit is people sit down and knit and enjoy the show. So we don't have to do the knitting. Well, you can do gingerbread. Yeah, which is a great disclaimer here. <laughs> so anyway, and, and because we launched the sit and knit for a bit this, this year. Is, this is enough. Yeah, we just figured we wanted to uh, do the Advent special as sit and knit for a bit because of the pandemic and all that. So uh, yeah, you've had quite your workout, haven't you? <sighs> So Arne, um, that looks fantastic. We forgot this one. No, 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 that goes in the end. The powdered sugar, oh my god. In the end? Yeah. You this... think I, could, I can mix this into this no. later? No, 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 you're gonna do, a, that's for the icing. 
For you don't for this one. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Then I can use my creativity. Yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. Okay, let's see your let's see your face. Yeah, you have had a a, a heck of a workout. Uh, can, I, can I stop this now and put yes. it Yes, the, the dough, how does the dough feel? Are you sure this is nice? It looks nice, the color is nice. Let me come and see, let, let me come and see. Oh yeah, this is fabulous. This is exactly what a gingerbread dough is supposed to look like. This is really so good. good work. I'm Arnett. so good. Now I just have to clean this one. Yeah, no, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna you're gonna get the spoon, the wooden spoon out of there and yeah and then we are gonna leave this to cool down and it's gonna have to cool down for a few hours mm -hmm. so uh, we're now gonna take a little break clean sorry the I might be off camera we're gonna take a little break um, clean the kitchen maybe. clean the kitchen and uh, clean away all the ingredients and we are gonna be back in about two or three hours our fridge is quite full but we have a lovely uh, porch here, which is um, under a ceiling. It's good. Yeah. Great. You're not going to be having lunch today, are you? Or dinner? No. Okay, anyway. It tastes like gingerbread. <laughs> well, it is gingerbread. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a little break and we will be back uh, very, very soon uh, for part two of this wonderful adventure. You are halfway, Arne. And I can tell you that the worst is now behind you. Thank you. The dough is done. It's going to cool down. Once it cools down, it will be more like Play-Doh. Well, what we did, we forgot this one. No, 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 no. That's for the icing. Don't worry. Okay. And anyway, when we come back, the fun starts. That's when you're going to be doing this. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be making your, making your little figures. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. We're back. We're back. No, this is cold. Yeah, so tell us, Arne. And you said we should just take small pieces at a time and then take it so out. So, shall we look in the bowl? I mean, aren't you excited? Yeah. So, I was checking with a knife and it's... It's hard, isn't it? I think it's fine. Yeah, so what you need to do is just take what you're going to work with. Okay. Put that... And then what you're not going to work with needs to go back into store, cold storage. Otherwise, the, the moment it gets warm, it will be very difficult to work. So, not too much time. Well, you need a chunk. I mean, you're going to... I take a little bit more than that. More? Take a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more than that. Okay. It looks like chocolate. It does, yeah. Now put it in cold storage. Okay, so we've been away for about two hours. Uh, it could also be, have been overnight, right? Mm -hmm. And Arne, we also, uh, dis, uh, what, what am I going to say? We also um, uh, found out about uh, what was in that sifter. It was tea. tea. Because as you can see, yeah, you see, as you can see, all my teas are up there. And uh, it was tea, and guaranteed. There's tea in the drawers. Yeah, there's tea in the drawers as well. Don't worry. It, it was tea. Dangerous. We had it all verified. We haven't had a mouse indoors for a year at least. But now I do like I normally do. Like okay. Oh yeah. Oh sorry. Sorry. Now suddenly you're going ahead of Maybe. me. Maybe. Can I? Is is it like this? This is so big. Is it hard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So but now I learned that like you should be careful with the flour, so it doesn't, so you don't give too much. Or is that right? Yeah. So, but what are you going to do now? Tell me, because I can continue reading the recipe for you, but it looks no, like no, you have control. I, I guess you have to use this one. So this is yeah. like other cakes, isn't it? Yeah, so it actually asks that you make a three millimeter thickness three millimeter. of your paste. It's so nice with the stone because... Oh, 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 Arne, before... We, sorry, I just remember something before we start that. Maybe put the oven on? So that's... So the recipe calls for 175 degrees Celsius in... Uh, no, no, the other one. The oven is new. Yes. So, one more. Okay, that's 200 and now you need to go down. So go to the other side. Yeah, and now go down to 175. Okay, there you go. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the oven will so heat now, now while I, you do your little gingerbread man. Have you been having fun or are you just physically exhausted? No, I'm fine now. We had we took a, 
a little rest. Yeah. This is a long video, huh? I mean, uh, this is probably one of the longest videos we've ever made. But people uh, seem to love them, the, our long videos. So hopefully they won't get too bored with but you. We can, we can have like fast forward when, when they bake. Okay, let's see. So how's this going? Three millimeter. Yeah. I, ha I found this one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they're kidding me. <laughs> this is three millimeter. <laughs> you're not you're you're not serious. Are you measuring the dough with a measuring tape? <laughs> what else can you use? This is three Yeah. Okay, so make make your little figurines. Oh, and you need to line a sheet. Uh, you need to uh, line a tray with the baking paper. Yeah. Oh, hello Freya. I haven't seen you for the whole day. Hey Freya. Can I use this like any... Oh, something happened. Can yeah. I use it anyway? Yeah, okay. any way you like. Yeah, the oven usually doesn't like it when you put stuff there, so just ignore it when it beeps. So, let's make some cakes. Okay, let's see. That's... That's a horse? A horse. I think... Can you take the whole... Oh, and how are you gonna... I don't know. You're the cook in the family. Well, you need to transfer that to the baking sheet, yeah, don't you? But I think maybe it's smart if I do like this first. Okay. This I can do. Well, this is stuff that you're much oh, better... Oh, there was something like hard I pressed through. That's probably the sugar. <laughs> that was crystallized. Oh, the crystallized sugar. Oh, look, he got a bump. Oh, well. Okay, so now... Oh, oh. The oven doesn't like this. It's okay. But how much is like, how long can I work on this? Well, you'll see when it starts getting too soft, we have to stop. But this was easy. Yeah. Okay. Now put it on the baking sheet, but you have to work quickly. Because, yeah. You really have to work quickly now, Arna, because if, the, if the dough got, starts warming up, we have to put it back in the fridge for two hours or no, until it gets cold anyway. Okay. Shape, oh, have to shape him a little bit. Yeah. So it's still a horse. Yeah, and there's a mousse for Vrea. This is getting warm now. Yeah, you see you have to work very fast. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is a sitting mousse. A sitting mousse. Let's see. Okay. Um, hurry up now. A little bit. And yeah, you put the you put the bowl with the dough behind you. Yeah, I think I'm it should not, be. I'm gonna take it out later. Well, let me just finish a little bit. Well, work faster. <laughs> I think that my memory of this uh, video is gonna be the amazing workout you had when you were doing the dough. But it's so hard. What is hard? The dough. The dough. Yeah. Well, good. But you see, there's not many cookies in in this dough. I can't make a house or a castle or anything. We have to make one. Like well, we're gonna we're gonna have to get you a new one. No, I can eyeball the dough because now I know. I think I know three millimeter. <laughs> okay, I have to say, Arne. You see, I, I'm eyeballing now. Yeah, I have to tell you, I have enjoyed baking with you. Thank you. It's been fantastic. I have enjoyed baking with you. You're so good at telling me what to do. Yeah, but I wasn't... I mean, I was nice, wasn't I? You're nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, delicious. Mm. But it's really hard. To, what if I bake on paper? Can I bake on paper? Well, that's actually a good idea. Instead of that, you could have put the paper... I could have bake... Why don't we bake on paper? Yeah, that's better. Do you wanna stop? Do, do you wanna stop and start again or? No. You see, this is not easy. See now. Ska vi börja på nytt? Nej. Är du säker? Mm. Okay. <laughs> How much gingerbread dough have you had? A lot. If I do this and then I do. This. Okay. Think this works? Yeah, I do. Actually, I think that's actually the most clever thing. Oh, look, I have 
Everything. That's the most clever thing uh, you've come up with today. You come up with a lot of clever things, but this one's uh, this one's a winner. This is cool. This is much better, huh? And I it, think this is smarter. Yeah. See now I can just make all the animals. make your animals. Have to do it the right way. Okay, sorry. There we go. Yep. And you do your horse. Hmm, this way? Yep. No, there's like a little something there, a bump. We don't want bump in our cakes. Sorry. Oi. What happened? I pressed too hard. Ooh, be careful. Don't hurt yourself. No, but I was hurting this one. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, you can get a little reindeer there as well. Moose. Sorry, a moose. <laughs> it's a Freya. <laughs> Okay, so if, if I do this now, and, I, and I, then I take this away. Yeah. I could do like hearts and stars and stuff in between, but I don't want hearts and stars. I want moose and horses. Okay, so see this is... That, that's, that's the intelligent way of doing it, instead of following the recipe. Maybe they didn't have these pa baking paper sheets when the recipe was written. Probably not. I mean, it's an old family recipe. I don't know whose family, but... but they have been baking these cakes for hundreds of years. Peppercock, yeah. Yeah, peppercock. Yeah, we love our gingerbread together with the glug. Yeah. For Advent, it's delicious. See, now I learned, you, I taught you a new trick. Yes, look at this. But how do I get it over there? Well, no, 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 no. I mean, you've got, you've got... Uh, use the paper. Yeah, put the paper in the tray and bake it. See, I can use, I can do this. Yeah, and then you can add and those. Then I can put this over. Yeah. Sorry, I'm cutting your head all the time. Uh, I'm, this one is dead now. I have to make a new one. Okay. Can I bake just four cakes at a time? Four gingerbread? Is that stupid? No, 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 no. I mean, they are pretty big. I put them in and okay, I can, so, so and you, because I can reuse. You good know. idea, good idea. Here's a suggestion, Arne. Put those in the oven 10 minutes, yeah. and while you put those in the oven for 10 minutes, you prepare four more because yeah. you've got a lot of dough there. 10 minutes? Yep. How so, do I get in there? This way. So, I'm you, I'm just and put it, let's see what the recipe it's says warm. in the middle of the oven. That's somewhere there. So go to the middle, yeah. 10 minutes. And now you want to put the timer as well. Timer. Timer is down there. This? Yeah, you see the clock? Yeah. Press the clock. And now you see the plus, now go to 10. What's the... No, 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 tw now go to 10. Yep, there you go. Okay, and then I can make... And now if you see the timer, is it going backwards? Yeah. Yeah. And now you can make a second batch. You see when you use the paper, you could actually use less of the flour. Exactly. That was a Am really. Good at this or you, what? you are amazing, Arne. But now this is getting. Warm. You are, and everybody knows that you're a genius. I'm a genius. Yeah, and actually a good baker too. No, look, this is. I think I do this. Yeah, I'd hire you for sure, if I had a bakery. See, I I, see, I put it gently mm -hmm. on the. What's this in English? I don't know, a pastry roller or Chevrolet whatever. In Norwegian. Yeah, it's a Chevrolet in Norwegian. <laughs> now it's moving too much. Okay, so it was genius, but, but let me hold it from this side. Hang on. <laughs> no, it, sorry. I, I don't like it's, it's too it's so sticky when you have it on the table and you can't get them out nicely. Yeah. No, so this, this is, is, has to be teamwork. This is teamwork work. I'm holding if you can see here my hand and my fingers and I'm holding the paper so that you can do this. And you are doing so well. I do, I do this instead of having too much on the on the paper. You know, I've never made gingerbread like you do. No? No, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> and you know, the best thing about it is you can eat you can eat as many as you want because you had that workout. But now you can now now you see no no I get now I'm really on top of it. Yes, I you really are. Now how to do this? Oh yes. Now. And as long as you hold the paper. Yeah. So now I can just bake a lot of these and then. We can go like fast forward, yeah, and then we can put on some decoration. Yeah, yeah. So this was going to be like a forty-minute episode. Uh, I think we're going to go over. Um, 
this is thicker again. And I don't think our, our Christmas calendar will be published until way over. <laughs> so people will just have to wait patiently while you finish your gingerbread today, December 6th. Second of Advent. Yeah. Then we're gonna do some of that glug. I'm gonna do it with red wine today and spices. Mm. And we're gonna have hot wine yeah. with uh, gingerbread. Especially now that we know that it's tea. That that this was is, what was in the uh, this is sifter. Five millimeter. Okay, now you need it a little thinner. But this will take forever. No, no, just ten minutes. 10 minutes cooking? Yeah. But you know what I think we should do now? I mean, unless you have something important to tell me. No, I um, can't talk and do this at the same time. Yeah, point. so what I think we should do is just fast forward this. Yeah, and see how they look when they come out of the oven. And see how they all look when they come out of the oven. So yeah. we're gonna fast forward or... Actually what we'll do is we'll, we'll stop the camera and then we'll start it again and see how we're doing, okay? Yeah. Put, it, put the dough out in the cold. Oh, well, well, but now you're doing all this fun stuff again. I can't press like the handle because I, I did that and then it's almost broke. Okay. So how's it going? Good. Have you got gingerbread in the oven? I have. Are they ready um, soon? Soon. And now I want to learn how to put on the decorations. Yes, that's going to be the final. Oh, finished. I've got a beep. A beep. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, horses and uh, reindeer moose. or moose, sorry. Maybe the horn is destroyed, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, uh -uh. poor thing. But oh, No, it's a, it's a donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a taste. taste yeah. Doesn't matter, it's just the uh, the oven, the, the stove doesn't like it when you have stuff all there, but don't worry. But I will make that one into a donkey. Okay. Mmm, smells delicious. You know what it smells? Gingerbread. <laughs> and it smells Christmas. I would be scared if it smelled something else. Yeah, and I must say, I've been loving this cooking session with you, or baking session. It has been so much fun. Oh, you're welcome. And I hope I haven't been too um, strict no. or too bossy. Oh, no, you're not. I think sometimes I do what I feel for. Yeah, but you've done a great I'm job. I'm listening all the time. But yeah, and look at all these gingerbread you've baked. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. And I have more, but I want to do some decorations now. I want to yeah. have a break from this. So how much do you have left, do you think? Not enough for a house. We have to do a double portion for a house or a castle. A castle, but yeah. I maybe have as much as this. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to continue baking. Yeah. So for you viewers, so, since we haven't been baking all of these for you to see, I just... Uh, Arne, oh, sorry, I'm not going to explain it. Arne, explain what happens when you take the gingerbread out of the oven. They're and like they're soft, so you have to put them on this thing, so they... Yeah, so there's air going all, all the way. In a way. Mm -hmm. And, and then... put this over here, so they can cool down. And, and then, then when they the, get stiff. Yeah. Because they're not, they're kind of soft when they come out of the oven. Mm. And do you want to show uh, a want cup? To taste this one? Okay, yeah, of course. Mmm, yummy. Very nice. Oh, they, they taste like gingerbread. Mm. Like and the they actually taste better than the ones you get in the store. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to show up a few of your gingerbreads? Just show them up, show off. So this is the mousse. A little bit of flavor there. Flour. Okay. Flour. 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 Yeah, that's the moose. And do you have a horse? And a horse. Is it an Icelandic pony or is it a I think this Norwegian is a, fjording? This is probably a Dörlahest. It's a Dörlahest. This is probably a fjording. That's a fjording, yeah. And there was a pony here. Okay. Taking out a little bit different. Okay. And now we have a donkey. Yeah. So, Arna, are you ready oh, to... what's this? What kind of breed is this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... You, what do I do now? Are you ready to do your uh, glazing? Yeah, because I have this thing, so yeah. I have to put something in there. Okay, so the, the recipe says that you need 250 grams of the powdered sugar. All the way back to the Yeah. So you just put the, that, yeah, put the weight. On, and then I put this on top. First I, have, I need to have the zero. Yeah. 
and then you press zero <gasps> yeah so 250 grams of that very good work, good work. The powdered sugar if I get in there but how can you get this out like I need a spoon okay that looks like something very airy you said 200 uh, how much 250 grams how much is the package 500 oh okay so it's half the package I know I cleaned up here and now I'm getting messed up again. Mm -hmm. Are you sure we need so much? What if we do half of it? Well, but but you need a whole egg. Oh. That's the problem. You can't do a half egg. And you only need an egg white. But then I have to do a lot of decorations. Yeah, but we've got a lot of gingerbread. 200 and... How much do you have there? 222. Okay, put a couple more spoons. You said 250? Yeah. 40? That's a lot. This is a lot. That think, is a lot. I think we need a bigger bowl. I think definitely we need a bigger bowl. Uh, yeah, we need a bigger bowl. You're not gonna... I thought it was gonna be like a small batch, but yeah, we need a bigger bowl. Luckily, we have bigger balls. We do, yes. <laughs> Not that. Okay. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Okay, now you need one egg white. But only the egg white, so you need to separate it. Yeah, I've I, I done that. Can I give you a tip? I need a cup. No, 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 I'll give you a tip. Go go to, with the egg, the sick. Okay, do it. You could do it your way. It's more fun. I would have done that in the sink, but your way is more fun. Is there only egg white or the yellow? The white. <laughs> um, no, no, no. <laughs> I can break the top. I make uh, a lot of dish dishwashing here. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, are that. Yeah, I would have not done it that way, but it's okay. But this is how a professional cook do it. <laughs> See? Oh, wow, I'm impressed. I learned this when I was a kid. So who taught you this? My mother. And why? Because she used the egg white sometimes in things. Was she also making some kind of a Christmas cookie or something? Of course. But not this. She never made gingerbread? I can't remember we had that. There you go, look at that. Am I good or what? Yeah, but I don't understand. What do we do with this one now? Well, just put that, put that in the, back in the carton. And then we'll we'll think of something with that. Yeah. Okay. Have to use it for something. But I don't understand how this is gonna work. Oh yeah, and you need a uh, you need. You have never done this before. Is that what you say? Yeah, you need half a teaspoon of lemon as well. So what you basically need is a little lemon squeeze in there. But maybe mix the egg first. I don't know. Try it. No water. Is this everything? It, that's what the recipe says. Well, actually, just we, uh, yeah, but you have to stir it uh, hard. I think this is enough. I think this is way too much for the whites. What you call that? Sugar? Thing? Yeah, you need a little squeeze of lemon in there too, apparently, according to the pattern, aren't you? Uh, the pattern? The you recipe. <laughs> No, this is not correct. Well, that's what it says. Be... Maybe use a spoon. I have to squeeze a little bit of this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm squeezing. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty much a tablespoon. More. Tablespoon? Sorry, teaspoon. <laughs> a teaspoon. <laughs> Why don't you bring the recipe with you? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, I can't get out more. Use the spoon now. No, 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 no. It's enough. It's enough. I know. Okay. It's enough. Mm. What do 
I do what? I'll do fine. <laughs> okay, just... Uh, no, it's already this stiffened. What you call that? Stiffening? Stiffening. But it's working. But maybe use the spoon next to you instead of the fork. But I, I think I feel like having an egg more. Really? Mm hmm Okay. This can't be... See, you can't do anything with it. Or can you? No, but I, if this doesn't go into onion. I take another egg. Okay. You're the boss. I'm just the standby. Yeah? If, the, if it's wrong, please let us know. <laughs> God, the way you the way you crack up the eggs. Yeah, because this is it's, it's getting stiff as we speak. Yeah, but you have to be a little bit faster sometimes when you're doing your cooking. I mean, it's not like we have time to <laughs> peel two pears and sit and knit a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean last week? <laughs> Do I have to remind you? Yeah, that's things? the problem now. I can't open my mouth because you'll just throw that in, in there. But be a little quicker now. Stir that quickly. With the spoon? <laughs> are you sure? Are you not having any water in it? No, it says... Oh, this is getting better. Okay, but move it. Yeah, that way. Yes, yes. You sure it wasn't? Yes. Like? No, it said one. Then there's something wrong in. The rest. Well. Okay. Because, see now it's more floating. Yeah. Am I getting good at this or what? Yeah. Now you put that quickly. Am I bossy, Carlos? No, you're not bossy. Put that in the in the. Um... First, I have to squeeze it, like mix it really good. Yeah. But what do we do if, if we stop decorating, then this will be like so hard. Can yeah, you, can so you put we... water in it then? And... No, I think you just have to make a new one. That's a pity. Yeah. Okay, so I highly recommend it, that you now put it in the, in the thing quickly. But look, now, now it's floating. Good, good, good. It's going to be, it's a little, maybe put a little more powdered sugar in there. No, I think I, I try. Are you sure? No, I'm never sure. I think it's gotten too loose now. But you're the boss. Oh, there's like different shapes there. Yeah, but we're not going to play with those now because we don't really... I think that if this gets stiff again... Okay, now but I'm... Now it's going to come out from... I have to put my finger there. You have to hold it. You have to close it. No, here. Right? No, you're filming the wall. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm interfering. <laughs> okay, so now... I'm so tempted to lick this, but... No, 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 no. you've had enough to eat already. Yeah. <laughs> you've had so much to eat. This is... this should be the fun part. Look. Well, we'll see in a minute. Okay. okay, now I'm really nervous. I'm very nervous for you right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go to the other table and I will put on some decorations. Oh. Okay. So maybe use the tray, the tray behind you, when you put the decoration, so that we don't get sugar all over the table. What? Which the, tray? the tray with the paper, the baking paper tray. I use the paper. Yeah, no, use the tray as well. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, and you're already. Oh, it's coming on that. It's coming on that side. Yeah. Maybe it was one of the egg whites. Yeah. So we'll see in a minute if we have to add some more powdered sugar. Okay, so let's make a mousse. Yeah, so I can't wait to see this. Okay, so we have to do like, see if something happens. Oh, oh, look, it's coming. Oh, look at that. But maybe it is a little bit too... Well, but it will thicken. I mean, it will stiffen, won't it? <sighs> it's coming from the other side. Yeah, okay, Arne, while you are doing this, yeah? tell me, 
Yeah. What is gonna be? What's gonna? What's your best memory of today going to be? I think it was to kind of steer the dough. That was hard. Oh, you mean like uh, doing the oh stirring? Stirring the, the dough. Thing. Yeah. That was really hard. Okay. And um, but but maybe maybe I think I like this now. Yeah. It's fun, but this is a little bit wet. Okay, so you should add more. Okay, let's go back to... No, I'm not doing it now. Okay. <clears throat> because I have to use this now. I can't put this back in the, the bowl. Yeah. So let me, let me do more. Yeah, I'm going to put and the camera down and I'm going to join you. And then you can do like... The, maybe it's time to do the formality yeah. stuff. And so keep decorating. You and can post a picture if we have something to show. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other side now. And my favorite memory of today is the same as yours. You stirring the... Um, because the that was hard. I didn't know that should be so hard. Yeah, I've never seen somebody work so much with his body as you were. I think you were doing this. <laughs> it was really funny. But these look nice. But I guess maybe it's a little bit too wet. Yeah, I think we should have done one egg. But I think it's gonna stiffen. It's gonna. It will be. Yeah, just give nice it a little time. End. Yeah, it will. You know what? Everything turns out well in the end, and it's not the. It's it's actually how fun you had to get there, right? And it's and yeah. It's the end process that counts. I have to say. So I'm so busy right now. Yeah. So I'm making a zebra. So in a few minutes we are going to go into. We're gonna change. We're gonna go into the other room, into our living room. We're going to sit down and we're going to start our uh, Christmas countdown and the reveal of a new Christmas ball. So um, I know that a lot of you have been waiting for this for the whole afternoon. We're terribly sorry to have kept you here for so long. We're going to go get ready. And then when we come back, we're going to keep doing the uh, decorating afterwards, okay? Yeah. So uh, I'm going to do the formalities, but I'm going to do them very quickly because we're going to do the formalities again in the other video. So if you like the video, Give it a big thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you want. Um, comment and give us engagement. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. That's the best way to support us, as well as getting all the fantastic merch that we have designed for you guys. Uh, that also goes towards supporting the channel. And uh, turn on the notification bell if you uh, want to subscribe. Uh, or, sorry, if you want to... If you turn on the notification uh, bell, you'll never miss an episode. That's what I mean to say. Okay. So we're going to go over now in a little bit. And we're gonna do the uh, sit and knit for a bit Christmas countdown. So um, we gotta get ready for that, aren't we? Yeah, I, I, I think I shouldn't mess up the res recipe because this is too wet. Okay, so we're gonna work this out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you again. Actually, we're gonna see you again tomorrow. Same tomorrow. time, same place. Bye. Bye. See you. Join us every day in December when Sit and Knit for a Bit becomes our daily Christmas podcast. We're looking forward to revealing one ball every single day. And if you want to join us, there is going to be a digital Arne and Carlos Christmas calendar with our 24 new balls. All you need to do is go to arneandcarlos.com, go to our shop, and you can purchase the calendar. And it will be available from November 22nd and onward. That's when it's going to open the sales. We're really looking forward, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And we're going to make ball, more balls. Well, you can't have enough balls. Can <laughs> well, can you? No, not really. <laughs>